Alright guys, so um, day three, I wanted to give you guys a general run through of everything I've been doing, like what the entire picture looks like. Uh, basically there's three things I've been cycling through over and over again. Every single one I try to do for about 20 minutes, um, and yesterday I feel like I went a little hard, too aggressively, too few a time, so I only did it like three times, 20 minutes, everything. Today I'm doing more like 10 to 15, maybe a couple 20s, but I only I do it more frequently for not as long. But here comes the knee bends. Um, still, the first time I'm gonna bend my knee, same thing as day one, it still feels just as tight. Um, I am bringing it back a little bit further. I'm giving a little assistance, right? There goes that midfoot. But you better believe the first time I'm going into it, it, it still feels about the same as it did day one. It doesn't that initial go doesn't feel that much better. Once you get in there, it, it does feel a little bit better, but uh, still feels pretty tight there. By day three, which it's kind of like three days post-op, which this is two days afterwards, but I started recording the day of, which is day one. Uh, I'm, I'm really trying to shoot for close to 90, so I can get this thing about to the ankle, malleoli right there, um, and I'll, I'll just hang out here maybe give a few rocks into it, try to put my weight into my hip, right? Instead of cheating, saying look how, you know, try to rock into it a little bit. Um, this is a cheat, right? You want to support yourself, which is okay to cheat a little bit, but then trying to settle down into it as best as you can. Coming out of it, I'm definitely using my hands to come out of this, that's, that's fine, right? Nothing wrong with that assistance. Uh, Still haven't done too many heel slides lying on my back because it's still pretty tough. But here, here we are just kind of coming back down into it and then holding that for at least 10 seconds. And again, I'll spend about 10 minutes here. From there, uh, we'll, we'll take it into the quad sets. So with the quad sets, let me get this all the way straight. Notice how everything is nice and slow. From the quad sets, a little cheat there, right? You see that move? Um, like I mentioned earlier, I haven't been going, this is my ice, I'll show you here in a second. From the quad sets, what I started doing, I forgot about this, is you, you can you can hit them both at the same time to help. Now that first quad set right there is pretty, pretty terrible, but uh, as you get them warmed up, you can lie all the way back down, sometimes it helps a little bit. From there, I always have this towel around, maybe two towels, prop it up trying to keep that underneath my heel at all times, or as much as possible, right? So I might do those quad sets for about 10 minutes today, at least a five second hold. There's the prop, and that's kind of a light prop right there. I, can, I definitely put a, a little bit more of a build up. And then at the end, after all that said and done, I've got some ice right here. Okay, about 10 minutes worth of ice, got this big dog lay it across the top all right try to get it nice and firm and bring it here definitely 10 minutes there and sometimes i've been propping it up as well with the ice uh, you have to have a little assistance to prop it up and this is applying a bit of a downward force to make sure that that knee gets all the way straight but anyhow each one's about 10 10 minutes there at least 10 15 yesterday i was more like 20. i held off on doing the shock today because um, it just got a little painful on me yesterday but I do think that that has helped me find those those muscles and uh, tomorrow we're gonna go over assisted straight leg raises and also walking with the crutches so there, there we are day three see you guys tomorrow